give you the essence, they give you the exact details of the of all the chakras, of all the devatas, of all the it, it is a it is a puja in itself. Singing the Navavarana Kriti is itself a Navavarana puja by itself. And the Adhishthatri Devata of the Sri Chakra is Lalita Mahatrapur Sundari. And the iconography of Lalita is that she holds a sugar cane bow, she holds the uh, Pushpagana or the bunch of flowers, flower arrows, she holds a pasha and she holds an ankusha. So this iconography of Lalita in temples, even though every Shakti temple, be it Meenakshi temple, be it uh, uh, Akhilandeshwari temple in Taravane Kaval or be it uh, Sharadama temple in Shangeli, anywhere, all the Shakti temples are regarded forms of Lalita and so Lalita, Sahasrama, Archanas are all done there. But the iconography of Lalita matches only with Kamakshi. Kamakshi's iconography matches perfectly with the iconography of Lalita. But Dikshita did not compose the Navavarana Kritis on Kamakshi. He chose to uh, compose the Navavarana Kritis on Kamalamba. Kamalamba is the, is the Shakti that is in Tapas in, in Tiruvarur. And if you, uh, I don't know how many of you have been to Tiruvarur, Kamalamba sits cross legged with, uh, uh, with a flower bunch in her, in her hand. That's it. She does not, she is not, she does not have a Pushpabana or she does not have an Ikshuchaba or she does not have a Pasha, she does not have an Akusha. Now, but why Kamalamba? That's the question. Of course, Dikshitar was born in Tiruvaru, it was his hometown. He has a bonding with his Engur Ambad, all, all of that. More than that. Kamala here need not necessarily mean Lakshmi. Kamala means Lakshmi, yes. But here, we have to take a leaf out of Mahaswamila's explanation for Shankara. Kamala, by the same formula, Ka is one, Ma is five, La is three. So, if you add these digits, you will get the number nine. Nine is always devote, uh, denotes Shakti. Anything connected with the Goddess, is either three or multiples of three. That is why she is even known as Tripura. Sarvam Trayam Trayam Yasma Tasma Sa Tripura Amata. So anything that is connected with her is so that is why the tri the triangle, the inward triangle represents Shakti. So anything that, that is three denotes the goddess. Anything that is five denotes Shiva. So, the Sri Chakra is an interplay of five and four triangles or nine triangles. It's made of everything. There are nine sub-chakras in the Sri Chakra. So, there are, there are very many explanations to this number nine. If you multiply the digits, you will end up with the number fifteen. Fifteen is the number of syllables that this Sri Vidya Mantra carries. There are 15 syllables in the Sri Vidya Panchadashi Mantra. So, it is much, much appropriate that the Kritis or the Sri Chakra that explain the, the Puja Vidhana of the Sri Chakra are on Kamalamba. So, since all of us had this great fortune of, of offering this at Mahaswami lets feet at Kanchipura along with our Guru. I'll play one composition that is the essence of the whole Avaranakriti uh, collection. This is the composition in Raga Ahiri that is that is that pertains to the Bindu 
or the final chakra where she resides as Shiva Shakti Ekya Rupaniya as in, in union with Shiva as Shiva and Shakti together she is the nameless formless Brahman she is the nameless and formless Brahman of the Vedanta and Dikshita's famous uh, Shankara's famous word Saundarya Lahari beautifully describes this form as the goddess in the Bindu Sudhasanthor Madhye Suravita Pivati Parivrite Manitvipe Niko Pavanavati Chinta Manitrihe Shiva Kare Manche Paramashiva Paryanka Nilayam Bhajantitvam Dhanyaha Kathichana Chidananda Lahari He says one who who uh, meditates on the goddess in this form as she being seated on the Panchapretasana as, as the, as the Panchapretasana Sina as one who is who seats who is seated on the on Parashiva on as one who holds the Ikshuchapa, the Kushpagana, the Chakya Pasha, the Akusha and she is the uh, she is the Shiva Shakti Kyarupini, she is the Brahman, she is the formless Brahman as well. And Dikshita makes mention of that in this composition where he says, and since creation is all about all by Shakti, only with Shakti creation happens. Shiva is the potential energy and Shakti is the kinetic dynamic energy with from whom every creation comes into being. And that is why Dikshita employs the vibhaktis of Sanskrit grammar to describe creation. So Sri Chakra is a, is, a, is a mapping of what creation is. So Dikshita employs the vibhakti concept to bring out this aspect. And in this composition, the Navamagarana, he employs all the vibhaktis in just one composition from the Prathama to the Sambhodhana Prathama Vibhakti and he gives the essence of the Shri Vidya cult and of the Vedanta cult also in this composition. Shri Kamalamba Jayati Hiraga Ahirita